Quinn, this is what you face when you face this Toronto team. They lead the league in steals, points off turnovers, and fast break points. Well, it, it, yes, but to, today what they're, that you're dealing with a straight game missing due to injury. Halliburton for three, no good. Rebound is tipped. Heald saves it. I love the effort. And a basket by Turner. Benedict Matherin's teammate, Christian Coloco, has been a starter. That's a basket. Barnes is not a very good three-point shooter. Keep these guys in front of you. Great no-look pass by Halliburton. Good offensively, but they think he's a good defensive replacement in there. And Delano block, uh, Banton got the block, and that is Booth. Toronto has taken Whoa. the lead. Six straight points. And he just pulled his way to the basket. Smith. Everybody else just kind of stood still. And Banton hits the shot. Well, no, he, he got away with one. Both Nemhard and McConnell on the floor to start the second quarter, and they both have two fouls. And on the back cut, I've seen Jackson now in two straight games. Left hand, right hand, high above the rim. Thad Young, left hand. That's, the post. that's his game. 12 to 6, the advantage for Toronto in this quarter. Ooh, he about the Chris Boucher was with the 905. He was with their G League team and they were pinched. And Anobi got the rebound, picked away by Mather. Now you gotta attack it. One way or the other, you have to attack it. There you go. That's the attack you gotta make. Keep people in front of you. Defensively, you gotta keep people in front of you. <laughs> Not gonna get there. And this time Halliburton has his, uh, they can get a, a mismatch almost everywhere. Halliburton finds Heald for three oh, in the corner. And he makes it. Stage his first half. They've really got two old school guys out there, don't they? Port um, the way they do with Joker, they can get to old school basketball and, and make it very difficult. As a few more three attempts, it's paid off for the Pacers. As Toronto has not shot the three particularly well, though they shot it well in the second quarter. Inside Turner. Shoot another one. Force him to call a timeout. Make them have the first time. Indiana points. Trent, head down, puts it up. Oh, got it. I'm telling you that's head down. There you go. Smith. He's got to look at that shot. I'm sure Boucher made it a bit of a challenge. As Miles goes. Up there, he gets you in there. He's just talking. Some of they heard me say this a long time ago that um, Jay Cross. Oh my goodness, Jay Cross one set length before that timeout. He was walking gingerly on the court, walked back through the tunnel with Carl Eaton, but did not last long. The ball, they threw it back, which he advanced it, and they were able to get it into the court. Now, Ben made a tough shot because it was, it was challenged. Matherin, a tough three. You get the ball on the run. You don't want to do that. Barnes lost control. Boucher picks it up. Yeah, that's why you want to do it. That's to, and the places wouldn't advance it to him. And you, get, you gotta get to think about Nemhard as they throw a lot. Yeah, he's not bashful, is no, he? No, he's not bashful at all. I'm telling you. Oh, it catch in the cup. I mean, I didn't. Ananobi free throw line. Got the roll. It's still tough. Halliburton short rebound. He never got his legs under. No look past. Halfway through the quarter, Pacers by one. What? Yeah. Tipped away by Halliburton. Good improvement there. Attacking from here. Yes. He loves going with Halliburton. Dances his oh, way outside. Of picking it up. That's the other thing about playing against this kind of thing. You pick it up, you got to have somewhere to go with it. Here's a long three. Halliburton got it. Ty Weiss. Yeah, easy. You don't have to take that quickly. Heald spins on Porter and lays it in. In that second half, the, the post-ups weren't there nearly as much. Um, the offensive rebounds weren't there.